everyone. Another book today at Cindy Harper Speaks. And this one is entitled, I Like to Be Little by Charlotte Zolito and illustrated by Eric Blev, Blegvad. I think that's German. So if my pronunciation isn't accurate, I did my best at sounding it out. I like to be little. Once there was a little girl. What do you want to be when you grow up? Her mother asked. I just want to stay little right now, she said. Why, said her mother. It's nice to be grown up. Why do you want to be little? Because I am, said the little girl. And because when you are little, you can do things you can't when you grow up. What can you do that grown-ups don't, said her mother. Skip, said the little girl. I can skip when I'm glad. Grown-ups don't skip when they're glad. That's so, said her mother, though they have different ways to be glad. Oh, said the little girl, I like to skip. That's why I like to be little. What else, though, said her mother. I can sit under the dining room table and make it my house and draw my finger around the roses in the rug. Grown-ups can't sit under the table. True, said her mother, but grown-ups don't want to. I want to, said the little girl. That's why I like being little. What else, said her mother. I can go barefoot in summertime. Grown-ups don't go barefoot in the summer. True, said her mother. They usually don't. I like to go barefoot, said the little girl. I like to be little. What else, though, said the mother. The ice cream man knows my first name, said the little girl. He doesn't know yours. No, said the mother. I like him to know, the little girl said. I like to be little. What else, asked her mother. I can sit and do nothing, said the little girl. Grown-ups never sit and do nothing. They're too busy, said her mother. I like to sit and do nothing, said the little girl. I like to be little. What else, though, asked her mother. If I see something pretty, I can draw it with crayons. Grown-ups don't draw with crayons, said the little girl. Usually not, said the mother. I like to draw with crayons, said the little girl. That's why I like to be little. All of her beautiful pictures, her box of crayons. What else, said her mother. Grown-ups don't have birthday parties with cake and ice cream and candles, said the little girl. No, said the mother, they don't really want them. I want them, said the little girl. That's why I like to be little. What else, asked her mother. I can sit at the window and watch the rain run down the pane, said the little girl. I never saw a grown-up do that. Is that fun, asked the mother. For me, said the little girl happily. That's why I like to be little. What else then, asked her mother. I can dress up in funny costumes on Halloween, said the little girl, and go trick-or-treating. Grown-ups don't. I like to dress up in funny costumes and go trick-or-treating, said the little girl. I like to be little. What else, said the mother. I can jump in the piles of leaves each fall, the little girl said. Grown-ups just take, rake them. Rake them into piles, said the, her mother. I like to jump in the leaves, the little girl said. I like to be little. What else, said her mother. She jumping in the piles, growing up raking them. I can eat the snow when it first falls, said the little girl. Grown-ups never do that. Is it good, her mother asked. It is, said the little girl. I like being little very much. I like the things that happen. Well, said her mother, I know something about being grown up that makes all those things happen again. What, said the little girl, what could that be? Her mother put her hand under the little girl's chin and looked in her eyes.
this. When you're grown up, she said, you can be the mother of a little girl like you. The little girl smiled. Well, said the little girl, I know something as good as that. What, said her mother, what could be as good as having a little girl like you? Well, said the little girl, at night after you kiss me and tuck me in, I can lie in bed and think of growing up to be like you. I like to be little. Beautiful, touching story. I think one lesson that we should learn from that story is to enjoy each season of your life. When you're young, enjoy it. Just make the best of every moment. Seems like as a child, we want to grow up. And then when we're grown up, we wish we were younger. But guess what? If we just enjoy every single season, then we don't miss out on today thinking about tomorrow or yesterday. And it's always beautiful to see light through children's eyes. If you like to like to be little, please press like at the end and I'll see you next time at Cindy Harper Speaks. Thanks for tuning in and bye for now.